Hi, I'm Rich at New Life Scientific, and uh, I just want to show off our Virtus 25 liter here. Um, this unit is really nice, uh, probably one of the nicest units I've had in here so far. It's not the newest, but it's definitely the, uh, the, the best running one I've seen. Um, our temperatures are well exceeding the manufacturer specs on this, but uh, I do want to point out some of the things that we've done on it. Um, we'll start at the top here. This uh, unit does come with a 16, um, uh, 16 port manivolt and it, we're only offering the eight um, valves on front here. We've just plugged the back ones, but you can upgrade and, and uh, put the full 16 on it. But uh, I just want to point, point out here, we're, you know, we're pulling down well below um, the specs on there. You probably can't see the screen too well, but it's bouncing around six and seven millitor here. Uh, we're showing about a negative 92 Celsius on the screen as, as far as the cool, cooling temperatures. Like I said, just a great running machine. Um, we've thoroughly went through it. Um, I did replace the front uh, access door to the chamber here. You can see it's a nice new looking one. Um, of course, we got the quick release um, drain there where you can drain the chamber when you're defrosting it. And then uh, we're gonna move over here again too. This, this comes with the quick refill when you're changing your oil. Just, you know, down here you can see it's just a quick valve. Um, drain your oil out, turn it, shut it back off, and refill it very easy here for those of you that are continually changing the oil for contamination purposes. But around here, uh, I left the panel off here because I want to show you what we've done here. Now this isn't the, the standard vacuum pump that comes with the units when you buy a new one. Um, we've kind of upgraded the vacuum pump on this. Um, this is an Ocatel. This is uh, built specifically for um, scientific purposes, but one thing I want to point out on this one too is first of all, um, all the pumps we put in these are rebuilt and come with a one year warranty. And we added the mist collector here that has the automatic um, drain hose that recycles any oil coming up in, into the oil mist collector. And that was the one thing I really didn't like what Virtus was doing on there. Um, the overflow would literally drain down into a bottle. Sometimes a bottle would spill in the bottom, causing a lot of oil and just a big mess on the bottom of the machine. But, and then the next thing I want to point out is what we add is a carbon filter. So this is actually a two-stage filtering system. You got your oil mist collector here and then also a carbon filter and it actually comes all the way up here. It's quite long so that you're um, filtering out any kind of fumes um, that might you know, get into your lab. So that's something again that we've added. And uh, I wanna also come around the back um, just to point out how nice this machine is. Um, again, we always change out all the vacuum hoses here. You can see we've put new vacuum hoses on everywhere to get the, the best performance that we can. Um, you can see the two um, compressors down here. They're pretty much maxed out. You can see the frost build up here, is very normal for these, um, and I want to point out how nice the original insulation is. And this is a good indicator of how much it's been used, because normally um, on, on older machines, all this insulation would be very rippled, very brittle, be crumbly um, from all the, the cold defrosting, cold defrosting, and it breaks down the insulation. And that was one thing I always take note of, is this insulation isn't, uh, isn't broke down, it's not deteriorating like I've seen in the past. Um, so that's just a good indicator that this, this chamber, these pumps have very little use to them. Um, if, if the frost here was gone, you would notice that there's no rust in these areas. Um, normally with a lot of use, what happens because of the frost buildup, the defrosting, um, you get rust in this area. But there's absolutely no rust going on on these um, two bolt-on ports here. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, very, like I said, very nice machine. Um, we, we didn't have to do anything to the compressors at all. They were top notch when we got them in. The only thing we did is upgraded the vacuum pump with a rebuilt one, um, replaced the vacuum hose, like I said, and thoroughly tested and went through the unit. But you can see on the back here, we've just got plugs on the back of the manivolt here. So you can add another um, eight 
uh, valves there so that you can have uh, more port areas. But we also offer a huge tree I've got back here too that I believe it's a 48 port. So if you do need that, um, we would consider that too if you want to contact us about that one. But like I said, great running machine. And uh, if you have any more questions, um, give us a call here at New Life Scientific. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rich here at New Life Scientific. And as you know, we do a lot of Virtus machines here. And I just want to point out how quick and easy this is to change the oil on these. Um, I've got uh, everything set up and I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of changing the oil actually and what we use here and what you possibly could too. But um, right now we've got uh, the uh, Edixon uh, direct drive vacuum pump oil that we use in these because we use the Arcatel pumps. And uh, of course we've got, you know, down here the spout with the plug that we'll be removing when we're adding. And down here, of course, we've got the pump um, with the quick valve um, open here. But the pump is nice and warm. It's actually running right now. We're going to shut it off before we change it. But I also want to point out a really nice vacuum for fluids. This is the Mighty Vac. This is what we use for evacuations and, and sucking up all the oil in different projects. But works really great for these too. But it's just a fluid evacuation. Um, that we hook up and, and we pump the handle and it just creates a vacuum and sucks the oil right in there. Um, literally no, no messes or anything you got to deal with. So the first thing we want to do is just simply shut the pump off. Like I said, it's still running. So now the vacuum is shut off. It's nice and warm. And we're simply just going to take the hose. And I've got a rubber um, coupler that that I'll just slide right over the valve here. And it fits really nice. You don't really, I don't need any kind of clamps or anything. It's just uh, a silicon piece that works really great for, um, for hooking those up. I'll bring this around here. And you can see I'm hooked up here. But it's just as simple as um, opening up the valve here. You can see the oil running out. It's coming in here. But I'm just going to give it some pumps. And it's creating a vacuum now. You can see down here the oil is coming all the way out. It's almost pure out already. So we're already just sucking in air now. So super quick. And I'll just give it a couple more pumps and kind of get all those residue and dribbling area. So it looks pretty good. And then we just close off the valve here, lock it. It has a little locking mechanism that we want to just put in there. And when I, as I'm unplugging this, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a vacuum so that it can kind of just suck all my residue. Now, isn't that beautiful? There's absolutely no oil, nothing. It's just sucked it right into the tube. You know, I can't stand oil drips and everything coming in. So, so just a really awesome way to change the oil. And I'll just put this here and put it out of the way here. And then up here, we just have the, the plug that we're just taking out. Just pull it out. And this is a new jug here, so not to uh, break the seal on it. Now get over on this side here and we're just going to dump the new oil in. And just you just want to be careful that you're not dumping it too quick where it overflows the funnel here. But you're just going to watch the gauge down there as we're filling it. And it's the sight glass on the pump on the front. And it takes a little bit before it even starts registering. But uh, another thing you can do too, what we do on some of our other vacuum pumps that I have in-house, is I actually put a, a pump dispenser on these. So that I don't even have to pour them like this. I just pump it in with a little pump dispenser. Um, which it's not really necessary because this is so easy. You can see now we're registering on the sight glass with the oil. And we're wanting to come up into the marks there. 
and we got that next mark there and you can see we're just about there that's that's about where we want to be just put a little bit more in nope, I'm going to put a little more in yet right in there that's where I like it but I just want to point out I did not spill any oil you know there's just a really clean quick way and then you just take your plug put it back in and you're done and you can just fire up the vacuum pump and continue on so like I said um, how easy does it get that's how easy it is and very convenient especially for those of you that are using a lot of harsh chemicals that you're evaporating and you need to constantly change that oil to conserve your pump so um, thank you for watching and I uh, hope this helps you.